So I'm going to show you how to take this clip and turn it into this clip using Video Leap plus another app that's totally free and very easy to use. I've got one bonus tip near the end of the video, so stick around. To make this work, you'll need two apps. Both are free to download from the App Store. One is Video Leap and the other is Move Stash. I'll leave links to both in the video description. So when the video is over, go down there and download them for yourself. The first thing I'm going to do is open up Move Stash, tap on Blur Entire Video, then I'll tap on the camera, select Video, and choose From Camera Roll. Here I can select my video clip. I'll tap on it and then tap select. Notice that you have an option to select the type of blur you want. Just tap on one to select it. I'm going to choose Gaussian. You can also increase or decrease the strength of the blur by using the slider. Move it to the left to make it weaker and to the right to make it stronger. This is fine, so I'm going to tap on save. Since this is a free app, you will see an ad. Just let it play and then close it afterwards. Tap on done. And you can close move stash. Next, I'm going to open up Video Leap. Here's an empty project. I'll tap on the plus sign to add my original video clip. This one here. I'll tap on it and add to project. I'm not going to make any changes to the original clip. Next I'll tap on mixer and add the clip with the blur applied to it. You can see that they appear one on top of the other. They are exactly the same length. In fact, I've used exactly the same clip. The only difference is the Gaussian blur. I'm going to swipe over and tap on Transform, and then I'll choose Fit. Notice that the blurred clip now fits the screen. The next step is to apply a radial mask to the blurred clip so that the face is blurred, but you can see the video clip underneath, which is not blurred. First, I'll play the clip just to make sure they are exactly the same length. Because if I don't, the blur may disappear off the screen before the video is finished playing, and the face will be revealed. Just tap the play icon to play the clip. Both clips are the same length, so now I'll select the upper clip, swipe over, and tap on Mask. You want to choose Radial. This will place a circular mask widget on your screen. Next, I need to resize the widget so that it surrounds Monique's face. If the widget disappears, just tap on the screen once more and it will reappear. Resize it so that it surrounds the face that you want to blur out. Take your time while doing this and make sure it is as accurate as possible. Notice that as you resize the mask widget, the clip underneath becomes visible. That's why this is possible. Once you've got the size you want, you'll need to play the clip to see if the blur matches up with the face you're trying to blur out. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'll need to use some keyframes. Go back to the beginning of the clip 
and tap on the keyframe marker once to drop your first keyframe. This is the starting position. Now slowly scrub through the clip and make sure the face remains inside the circle for the duration of the entire video. If the face moves outside the circle, just move the mask widget to cover the face. A keyframe will be added automatically as you can see. You might need to do this a couple of times to make sure you have it just right. Keep adding keyframes and slowly scrubbing through the video until you're done. This is a tedious process, but the more time you take, the better off your result is going to be. All the keyframes have been applied. Now deselect that clip and replay the clip. The mask should follow Monique's face. Make any adjustments that are necessary. Here's a tip that will allow you to check the accuracy of your mask size. Select the bottom clip, choose opacity and bring the slider down to zero. You can see that I have to make a small adjustment to my mask size. I only noticed this after I exported the clip. I'll bring the opacity back to 100% and select the top clip once more. Now I'll swipe over and tap on mask. Then I can just resize it using two fingers. You can pinch and zoom to adjust the size of the mask at any time. That looks better. If I play the clip, all the keyframes are still in place. So the new mask should still follow Monique's face. Tap on export. Now, export your clip. Choose a resolution using the slider, and then tap on save to save the video to your camera roll. The export was successful. Let's take a look at the final clip. For more great tutorials like this one, Check out the links in the video description or one of these recommended videos.